All right, we all love Samsung DeX. Love the way it enables us to cast our screen wirelessly on TV as well as a laptop which has Miracast built in and allows us to interact with it. What if you are a non-Samsung user or you are a Samsung user but you are looking for a DeX alternative on your laptop to get quick access to all the contents of your phone and interact with it? Link to Windows got it covered and this is an amazing feature which has been improving constantly. Let's quickly check out this feature and see how useful it is for your day-to-day -day life. Before we begin, let me just request you to show some love by hitting that subscribe button and like button and leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Now let's get rolling. Microsoft has partnered with Samsung to offer this as an inbuilt feature and is constantly improving the features for Samsung phones to make it more and more convenient to access the data from your phone on the PC. It's a very easy process to set it up. If you are a non-Samsung user, just download Microsoft Your Phone application. If you have Samsung phone, just enable the link to Windows toggle on your phone and follow the steps to get connected. This inbuilt feature may be limited to some Samsung models only. Now let's not waste your precious time on setup process. You can just follow the steps and easily do it yourself. So let me quickly take you through this well laid out interface which gives us quick access to almost everything available on your phone. And it is not just about accessing the data, you can even copy and paste the files from your phone on the laptop by just dragging and dropping those files from this application to wherever you want on your laptop or PC. And all this happens wirelessly. That sounds really cool, isn't it? So let's begin from the interface that we have here. This is a very simple and intuitive interface we have got here on this app. As you can see here, you will be able to see your phone's name which is connected right now and it is showing you my phone's home screen wallpaper here. We can directly access the home screen right from here which I'll come to it later. Now let's take a look at all the sections right below this. So we have got notifications here, so whatever notifications you're going to receive will be shown in this particular section. If you want, you can customize them. You've got plenty of toggles over here. You can select the application from which you want to see the notifications. You just have to enable or disable the toggles over here. And then we have got messages. You will be able to see all the messages over here. And then we have got photos. So this is showing only the photos, but not the videos. So I don't think we can see video files directly from this particular section. Uh, we might have to go for screen mirroring, which I'm going to show you in a while. And then we have got this very important section here. This is the application section where you will be able to see all the applications over here. Now in this section, we have got some important functionalities or features that I want to discuss. As you can see here, we have got a favorite section here. You can just right click on any particular application and add it to favorites. Let's right click on any of these application. As you can see here, we have got options like add to favorites, pin to start, pin to taskbar. So if you add to favorites, that application will sit right over here so that you will be able to easily access these applications which you frequently access. If you want to remove them from this section, you can just again right click it. Uh, you can just hit remove from favorites. Another cool feature is you can pin any of these mobile applications to the taskbar for quick access. Just right click and pin to taskbar. As you can see, a shortcut has been created on the taskbar for this particular application. You can just double click on this shortcut to open that particular app, which will work only when your phone is connected through link to Windows. And not just that, you can just right click on any application icon and select pin to start menu. As you can see here, this application has been pinned over here. And if you don't want it, you can just remove it or unpin it from start. And if you want to resize it, you can resize it to small or medium icon. It behaves as good as any application available on the start menu on your PC. Apart from this, we do have a search bar over here on the top right corner. You can easily search any application you want over here. At the moment, Link to Windows allows us to open one application at once. Samsung and Microsoft is working on letting us opening multiple applications at once, which is going to be really amazing. You can multitask, you can open multiple apps at one shot and use them. They are already testing it. It is available for Windows Insiders. So if you want, you can just register to Windows Insider program and try to get a glimpse of that particular feature. But that may not be available for all the devices, so be wary of that. Once they roll out this multiple app Windows feature, it's going to be really, really useful for all of us. All right, now let's go to the next section that is calls. 
So here you can just set it up. You can just connect your phone through Bluetooth to your laptop or PC and start calling right from here. You will be able to access all your contacts. You will get a dial pad as well and you can easily make calls or receive calls straight from your laptop. All right, now let's go to the bottom section on the left hand side. We have settings over here and we have got some important settings. The general settings allows you to choose how to display your PC notification banners. Then we have got my devices. So here you can see I have connected two devices already. My Note 20 Ultra and Galaxy Note 9 are here. And if you want to add another device, you can add. You can add multiple devices over here, but you will be able to access only one device at once. For example, if I have to connect to Note 9, Note 20 Ultra gets disconnected and Note 9 will get connected. So you can have only one primary device connected to this particular app. Now let's go to the next one. We've got features. So here you will be able to enable multiple toggles for messages, photos, cross device, copy and paste, notifications, apps, etc. You can go through it yourself. You also get some personalization option here. You can make app background the same as my Android devices wallpaper. Uh, as you can see here, this portion over here on the left hand side, uh, the wallpaper of my phone is in the background which kind of looks nice. You can also disable or enable the toggle to show audio currently playing from your Android device. Then we've got help and feedback section and about section. Now the last thing I want to discuss about is this particular option here. This is open phone screen. When you click on this, you will be able to see your phone screen over here and you can access anything and everything right in this particular window. So here you'll be able to open multiple applications as you do on your phone. To access this, you first have to unlock your phone. So this is more of a screen mirroring feature. You've got your actual phone screen right here in this window. Here, if you go to gallery, you will be able to access your videos as well, but you will not be able to copy and paste the video files from this window onto your desktop. All right, so that's about it. This is definitely an extraordinary application which lets you access all the contents on your phone. And Microsoft has been doing great to improve the features on this particular app. And even Samsung has collaborated with Microsoft to offer a better experience for Samsung phones. I'm just waiting for this multiple app windows feature, which is gonna be really useful for us. So once that comes out, I will definitely update you guys. So stay tuned for that video. Anyways, that's all I have here. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys let me know your thoughts about this video in the comment section below. Do subscribe to the channel and leave a like for the video. Thanks a lot for watching again. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.